Oh, I'm not taking an anything. Um, but guys, so I'm going to this thing tonight with, um, with, um, Markel, Markel, and it's like a red carpet thing. And so I haven't really figured out what I'm going to wear yet. So I thought maybe we can figure out what I was going to do. Also, if you guys are like noticing the, um, the like m m partially shaved thing going on, uh, it's because my razor died. So, um, that's why. How was Harry Ween? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. So I have to tell you guys all about that as well. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you guys don't know, I went to both of the Harry Ween shows. If you guys don't know what Harry Ween is, I will tell you right now. Okay. Harry Ween was, okay. So if you guys, do you guys know Harry Styles? Um, Harry did two uh, Halloween shows. So he did like, they were, they were like dress up shows. So everyone had to like dress up and go in, um, go in costume, which was so fun. So fresh. Uh, if you guys didn't see, I posted pictures on Instagram. I posted two photos in my outfit. I hope you guys liked them. You love them. Thanks. Um, your cousin saw me. Did they say hello? But yeah, it was lots of fun. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was for sure the best Harry costume that was there. I saw quite a few other people that were in the same outfit as me, but like not as good. Like no one had the pants that I had. So, um, yeah, so that's the thing. Like... Um, you saw me and said your name, said my name, but you, I didn't hear you. You should have said it louder. Top five songs. Okay, guys, so this is the thing. Listen, so I have like my favorite songs and then I have my favorite songs that I like at the concert. Um... And so, like, there's a different, like, there's, like, songs that uh, are my favorite ones when I'm, like, listening. But then, like, some songs are just so good at the concert that, like, I can't. So, my favorite songs at the show are Lights, Lights Up. Because um, he does this part where, you know, you know the part of the song is like, I'm not ever going back. You know that part? You know, you know what I'm talking about. So, I... He does that part, like, multiple times where, like, the whole crowd, like, screams it. And he's like, this side sing it, this side sing it. Love that part. Um, Treat People With Kindness is another song that is absolutely incredible. Um, live. It's so fun live. And then... What is the other one that I really like? There's another one that I really like and I can't remember it. So it's really awkward. Obviously, Adore You is like one of my favorite songs like ever. Oh, Kiwi, duh. Kiwi is like the most fun song um, live. Like the whole crowd is like losing their minds. Absolutely like the best ever. Um, so yeah, so that is how that was. Uh, the second, the first night he was dressed up as freaking Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. I'm sure you guys saw pictures. And then the second night he was like, um, like some like sad clown or something. I don't know. I didn't really get it, but, um, yeah, that's what he was for though, for both of those nights. But I think... I don't know. They were both so fun. But I think, like, the night on Halloween, like, the second night was better. Um, sorry, guys. My dog. Look at him. He stayed with Kip for the past week. So he probably misses him. You miss Kip. You miss your friend. Um, yeah. So that was lots of fun. Okay, guys. So... 
Um, I'll try. Oh, so I was okay. So I was in New York for five days, and two of the two of the days were the concert. But I went. Um, I went for five days because I wanted to be able to like hang out and like shop in New York. Guys, literally, my like legs are like broken. Like yes, they are. They're literally broken. I can like hardly walk. I walked like eighty thousand steps in those like four days. It was a lot. So I have shin splints and my knee feels like it's gonna break. But it's okay, like it was a good time. I feel like I'm like a pro at the subway. If you guys don't know, which you probably do, um, because you're not stupid. But New York has like a subway system. So like instead of like driving or like taking Uber, you um, take the subway everywhere. And it was lots of fun um like learning to do that we did get on the subway in the wrong direction once or twice but um we got used to it and it was lots of fun okay okay guys so this is the thing so i told you guys i was going to like a red carpet premiere um monty what are you doing he just wants attention so bad um so i told you guys i was going to a red carpet cr cr premiere tonight and i've been trying to figure out like what i'm supposed to to um where so this is what i'm thinking monty get down i have to show them outfits <laughs> um but this is the thing also i know you guys you guys better appreciate me on um Instagram. I've posted three times on Instagram. Yes, I have. Um, okay, so this is what I'm thinking, all right? So I'm thinking... What if I wear these pants? Okay, these are like linen... Um, oh, my gosh. How am I going to turn it around? Okay. So these are like this. I, I probably need to like steam them because of all of the wrinkles that are at the bottom. But okay, I'm probably going to... I'm thinking about wearing these, okay? Um, and then... Okay, so I'm thinking about wearing those, right? Okay, so what if I do that? And then what if I do a white t-shirt? Like, literally just, like, a normal, um, oh, I could honestly wear a short sleeve so I'm not as hot and no one would know. Because I was thinking about, like, what if, oh, this needs to be freaking unwrinkled, too. So I was thinking, like, what if I wear, like, a normal, like, white button-down underneath? I was thinking the long sleeve one, but, like, no one's gonna know, like, because I'm gonna have, oh, well, you guys, let me tell you why. Um, I have good Wi-Fi. What are you talking about? And then, so I got this, like, new jacket that I haven't been able to wear yet. And then, so look. So I wear, like, those with this. If you guys can't see, can you see? You can kind of see. It's, ugh. Um, this is, like, a blue, like a na like, a dark navy blue, um, velvet jacket which is like real I'm, I'm actually obsessed with it because when do you see other people in like velvet jackets because the other thing that i was thinking i was like what if i wear like i have these like valentino pants which you guys haven't seen me wear yet i did post them on my instagram story though um but they're like these they're like so nice you see they've got like this like um like sewing all the way down and i was like what if i wear those and then like a black like silky like this is what i was trying on like with like a black silky shirt and then like a black leather jacket but i hated it so yeah i hated it that's the thing also i'm going to be wearing those valentino pants in an instagram picture that i'm posting like in the next week so that's the thing. Also, I kind of want to give you guys like a little like room tour. Do you aim for comfort or style or try for both? Um, this is a thing. I most of the time it just depends like what I'm going for. Um, 
I don't know. Like, I want to be, like, dressed nice and, like, fashionable, but I don't want to be, like, too much, you know? Also, I need to show you, give you guys, like, an updated closet tour because I feel like I haven't given you guys one of those in, like, a second. Um, beauty is pain. Exactly. That's what I say. But it's, like... Also, like, because people are like, oh, well, like, why are you dressing up? Like, we're only going, like, to, like, so-and-so, like, whatever. And it's like, yeah, but, like, why do you want to look ugly ever? You know? Like, there's no reason to look ugly ever. Like, I just don't understand, like, why, if you can look good, why would you want to look ugly? Um, so let me know if you guys, any of you guys have the answer to that question. But, um, so guys, I literally, so really the main reason that I went to New York City for, like, as many days as I did was because I wanted to thrift, and I wanted to get lots of thrifting shops, like, I wanted to thrift lots of new stuff in, um, New York, and there was, like, nothing, like, there were so many thrift shops, and then, like, there was, like, hardly anything to buy, so... I think it's just because so many more people in New York thrift than in LA or something. Or I think people just have better style in New York than they do in LA. So there wasn't like, like in LA, I find cool stuff like almost every single time that I go. And in New York, it was just like, I, all, I felt like all the good stuff was already taken, which is annoying. Um, when do I leave for Paris? I leave for Paris in like a week. I literally think like nine days. So that is going to be a lot of fun for sure. Um, I do want to give you guys like an updated closet tour though. Oh, this is like 100% my angle. I, le I live in New York and I don't thrift like that. Well, literally when I was in there, there were like people. People waiting for like stuff that they had like picked up that day to be put out on the floor so I think there's just people that like know like when they release like new stuff and then they sit there and like they go through and like grab all of like the best things like immediately and like obviously I don't have time to do that so um but guys this is the thing I just bought um um What was I about to say? Oh, I just bought like 60 more hangers and they're all taken up. Yeah, no, it did take forever. I can't wait till we go to Paris. Same. I can't wait for the outfits that I'm going to wear in Paris. But like also at the same time, I'm like stressed about it. Like I'm like actually very stressed because... Uh, I have so many outfits. Like, I'm going to be there for, like, um, for, like, nine days. So, I have, like, so many things. Like, so many different outfits that I'm going to have to put together. And it's, like, how do I even... <laughs> I don't know. I'm stressed because I don't want to outfit repeat, you know? Um... I thought this tired accessories connected. Guys, I don't know how to use a steamer nine days is a lot of outfits that's what i'm saying like that's literally what i'm saying so i'm like and like even trying to come up with like one more outfit for um for new york like stressed me out like i tried for like an hour and i hated everything don't miss your trailer live when you're there oh my gosh can you guys believe i've never missed a trailer live i don't think i i literally don't think i've ever missed one I thought I was going to have to miss it today because of the premiere. And then I saw that it was, like, so much later. So, um, that's good. Um, but I am excited to dress. And I did get some new... Oh, let me go ahead. Let me show you guys the stuff that I bought, like, while I was there. Um, three outfits per day. No. I could not do three outfits per day. 27 weeks strong. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Let me guys show you the things that I thrift uh, that I thrifted. Thrifted, really? What? I don't, I don't think it's a word. Okay, so I got this from Goodwill. Okay, like I don't want to hear it, and it low key smells like a Goodwill. Um, and so I'm trying to like get that smell out right now, uh, but I don't know. Okay, so but I bought this like dark brown trench. And I'm like absolutely obsessed with it. I, this is this is a like it's supposed to like clean the air out. Like it's supposed to like remove smells from stuff. Wash it. I don't think you can wash a jacket like this because it's a cashmere blend. Um, cashmere blend like coat. And anyways, I'm totally obsessed with it. Then. I got another trench coat, which I am also completely obsessed with. This one, here, let me go over to, like, here. So, yes. Oh, oops. So, this one, okay, it looks like it's, like, super brown. Oh, no, where did the comments go? Oh, I got them. So, it looks like it's, like, super brown. And it is, like, kind of brown, but it's actually green. Like, it's actually, like, a, a green. Giving me very detective. Okay, true. Um, it's green. Okay. It's green, but I love it. Then I got this one, which is like a corduroy, but it has like a vest that's like attached on the inside. This will be perfect. Perfect for Paris. Um, I got this recently, which I haven't shown anyone or worn yet. It's very fashion obsessed with it. Um, okay. So, oh, 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 then I got this one. Guys, this is, like, actually such a bougie. Oh, my gosh, you can't even see it. Let me take you to, like, this thing again. So, this one, um, this one is a, uh, like, a dark brown, um, this actually is super bougie jacket. Like, I think this is, like, an $1,800 jacket, and guess how much I paid for it? Guess how much? I think I paid $15. Like, I'm pretty sure I paid $15. So, um, so I'm obsessed with that. Um, then, okay, I can't, you guys can let me know if you guys think I'm ever going to wear this. Because I may or may not. Um, but I got this, like, navy. Okay, you can't tell that it's navy. But it, it's not black. It's this, like, navy leather, like, blazer thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to wear it, but we'll see. Um, this, oh, this was the black leather blazer I was going to wear for that. Oh my gosh. I also got these red leather pants, which you'll probably never see me wear. Um, but we'll see. Um, and then, oh, I saw someone comment about shoe collection so i actually have i even unloaded all my shoes i think i have so i have doc martens adidas nike i have saint laurent boots i don't know what brand these are but these are like brown leather um oh robert whatever it's called then i have these uh gray suede Saint Laurent boots. Then I have my loafer collection. Ferragamo is most of them. Those are Ferragamo, Ferragamo, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, Paul Smith, Ferragamo, Paul Smith. I think those are Zara. Then I have my Nikes. I have no idea. I actually don't even have a single clue what brand these are. Uh, and then I have these Nikes, those Air Force Ones. And then in here I have more shoes. I've got leather Chelsea's. I have these like red velvet Ferragamos brown i don't know do you guys know what these like kind of boots are called i don't know um and then i have more adidas vans vans more of these like weird boots that i don't know loafers i'll probably never wear should just throw away uh, a white pair of those shoes i have no idea what they are and then my like workout shoes and then i don't even know what's all over there but um that's my shoe collection it's not as big as noah's um uh, but it's getting better, like low key. And then I have another pair of YSL boots that I just got. And then um, a black suede pair, which I just got, which are really cool. 
Um, okay, so that was all that I bought in New York, I think. Did I buy more stuff? I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I got, like, a cool shirt. Did I? I can't remember. Oh, well. Yeah, it was a good time. How do you pick what shoes to bring to Paris? I'm literally bringing all of them. (laughs) That's what I'm worried about. Because I have to bring the pink... The white, the black, and the dark brown loafs. I have to have four pair of loafs. I have to have the black and the brown leather boots. I have to have the black and the brown suede boots. I have to have my white Doc Martens. And then I have to have, like, a pair of, like, trash shoes. So, like, to, like, like my dirty, like, Air Force Ones, you know? Like, just, like, ones that, like, I don't mind, like, getting dirty or if it's raining or something. So, I have to take all of that on top of, like, all of the outfits I'm buying. Oh, okay. So, you guys don't know. um, I recently just got addicted to Depop. And I need it to be taken away. Okay? I need it to be taken away. I'm getting out of control. Um, I get on Depop every night. And I find things that I... I was about to say find things that I don't need. But, like, I'm pretty sure I do need them. That's why I buy them. But, like, I'm talking, like, I'm getting on and spending, like, $500, like, every night at least on, like, random stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm not really sure how to use the steamer. Do you guys know how? Because I have to, like, steam these pants and the shirt. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put water in this. Oh, you just pour water straight in? Oh, that's, like, easy as heck. That's, like, actually the easiest thing I've ever, like, seen in my life. Okay, so you just pour water in. How much? Like, all of it? We're just gonna do one cup. And then, um... Remove, fill, attach. And then I think I turn it on. Um, what is your goal in life? That's such a good question. I want to win Survivor. I plan on winning Survivor. So it doesn't matter how much. Okay, good. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to like. Okay, okay. Oh, I got it. All right, and then I just turn it on. Does, like, is, like, steam just going to be, like, the steam just going to start coming out? Or is there, like, a button I'm supposed to press or something? These are all questions I don't know. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have, um, I have Monty. I have Monty! Look at him. Hi, poopy. Yeah, Sam. Where did I put my... Oh, found them. My pants hangers. Uh, Usually a button. I know, but... Okay, you guys are saying that I press a button, but, like, I actually looked, and there there's no button. Like, I'm looking... Do you guys see a button? There's like actually no button, I'm pretty sure. Uh, fit check? No, we're not doing a fit check right now, guys. The thing is, I knew I was gonna be playing Xbox, and I so I didn't want to shower earlier on in the day, um, because then when I put my headset on, uh, it'll mess up my hair, which we don't want, you know. All right, so we're going to try and steam this. There should be... the Well, the water inside is, like, literally boiling. Let me look. Are you so close with Dixie? Of course. Oh, it's starting to bubble in there. I think it's just going to come out.
switch the unit on to indicate place the keep the flow stream focused on material being steamed using a slight back and forth motion of the area steaming will enhance the process i don't know like it gave me like attachments oh steam is literally coming out period guys it's working Okay, I've only used the steamer once before, and, um, it, like, didn't work. Well, like, it worked for, like, a second, and then, um, like, the wrinkles came back. Hey, were these gonna make my pants, like, soaking wet? Closer? Oh, it's like burning. Oh, I think it's working. How like long before like an event are you supposed to do this? Because I gotta wear these in like 30 minutes. <laughs> It just gives it moisture? Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, we're, we're down to just a few minutes left. Guys, I don't think Noah is going live today. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's not. That's a special skill. Oh my gosh, guys. I finally um, found a new job. <laughs> okay, it's like actually like... I feel like it's working, but at the same time, like, I feel like it's not. I should have, do you guys know how to do a, um, like when I like lived at home, like my dad had like an ironing board and I would just be like, dad, like iron these. Oh, I think I'm supposed to literally put it like straight on it. I think that's working. Um, make a steamer company. I'm like the next Stanley steamer. Okay, guys, this is like ironing, like seems to like work way better. I, I like can't even tell you what I'm doing. Um, it wouldn't wrinkle in 30. What? I don't know what you guys are saying. Sandly steam. It, oh, your household cleaner. I thought it was carpet cleaner. Steamer, Stanley Steam. Oh, it's Stanley Steamer makes your home cleaner. Or something. Maybe it's two different commercials. Okay, this is like actually working now, kind of. But the thing is they're like linen pants. So like, I'm not gonna be mad if there's like a little bit of wrinkles in them because I feel like it gives them personality, you know? But like, this is like actually taking forever because I've only done one leg. Um, I've only done one leg and not even like front and back. I've only done the freaking front. And I'm not even finished. But I feel like with like nice materials, are you not supposed to iron them? Where are you going? I'm going to a red carpet um, Netflix premiere. Watch me like do all of this and then hate the outfit and not even wear it. That'll be my favorite thing. Um, all right guys, well, unfortunately, we are all out of time. This is my favorite time of the week where I get to hang out with you guys. Um, next week, wait, no, not next week. Next week, I'll definitely still be here but maybe in two weeks. I don't know, we'll have to see. 
because like I said, I'll be in Paris. Um, so it'll just depend on like where I am during the day. And like, I'm pretty sure it's like the middle of the night or something. But um, if you guys haven't already, make sure and follow me uh, on all my socials. If you guys didn't see or didn't go and like my Instagram picture from yesterday or the day before, like you guys better go and like them because I'm desperate for attention. Um, turn on those post notifications. I do reply to like literally all of my comments on Instagram if you comment in the first like freaking like two hours. Um, so definitely have on those post notice so that you can see. Um, I love y'all and I will see you guys uh, next week. And I'm probably gonna start trying to do some more lives um, and I might start uploading some stuff on Reels and YouTube Shorts soon. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Also, I am trying to do some more like fashion content on um, on Triller and TikTok. Guys, my problem is I'm really into like 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 higher like fancy fashion, and so the problem is I don't know. Um, I just don't know like how to make it. To where like it's applicable for like everyone else because I know I'm like extremely fortunate um, and by living in LA and being in like a big city and stuff so uh, I know not everyone has access to the same stores or the same funds that I do so I want to make it like I want to give like fashion tips that like everyone can apply no, no matter where you are um, so I'm gonna try